Hi there! I wanted to do this quick video because I had applied Curl Junkies Peta Pattern Pattern Patter Pusher Gel with their smoothing lotion in sections. Just to show you what I mean, here are the products here. Oh, ooh, ooh so, so much hair. I applied these products. I have a video and you guys probably seen it already of me just applying the gel super wash and go style no sectioning no small section no raking through but today I experimented using the pattern pusher gel in smaller sections and these are the results really nice smooth shiny frizz free fr fr frizz free defined coils and kinks very very pleased and also my hair was like super wet today. I don't know what the deal was. I think because I added an extra helping of the smoothing lotion. And this is a really great leaving product. It has nice slip, detangles super well, and works very, very well with the gel in that it doesn't overwhelm the hair. It doesn't leave any residue. The gel and this lotion really work super well together in that it leaves you with well-defined, moisturized, styled hair without it feeling like it was its product overload. And the thing though, because it left my hair super defined, I had to make sure that it was like totally dry so I could fluff it out because I find when I sleep on uh, super defined, curly, creaky, curly, curly hair. These guys get really flat when I lay on them. So when I dried it with my diffuser, I made sure I opened it up a bit so it had shape. So when I wake up in the morning, it will be more like this and not like flat, curly, two-dimension hair. And I, I think, you know, you know what I'm talking about when that happens. It's like the worst. You put so much work in defining and sectioning, and then you wake up with flat curl hair. It's like, what are you going to do with that? So I just want to give you just a close-up glimpse. I really, I mean, this hair feels amazing. And I also applied before the smoothing lotion, Oregon Oil product. Thank you, Khadija, again. This is the Pure Fusion Oil. It has prickly seed oil and argan oil. I put two swigs of that in before the smoothing lotion. Man, oh man. Results for days. Really feeling confident that this hair will last me a couple of days. I took pictures, close-ups of how my hair looks right now so you can really see the shine and the definition that's taking place right now. Really happy. Uh, it does dry crispy, but after you kind of fluff it out, the crispiness leaves and you're just left with luxurious, kinky curls and coils. So I definitely will buy this gel again. If I were to compare it with Aloe Fix, I will think it unfair to compare it now because I didn't apply the aloe fix gel in sections. So until I do that, I could give like a fair comparison between Pattern Pusha and aloe fix gel because the aloe fix gel is also a really great product. It's heavier, so it gives more stretch. However, despite this being labeled as a medium hold gel, this, I mean, this is like really great hold for medium hold. And it's just enough because I find that super heavy gels, even with this, when I was applying, I had to scrunch because if you experience raking through some gels, it leaves the hair like straight curly. You kind of have to scrunch it so it can kick back in its shape or also just be like long jelly curl hair. Mm, no good. So even with this, I had to kind of reshape it because it was super wet. And I had to scrunch sometimes just the, so the hair could bounce back in the coil pattern. And that's fine too. And I, and I think I would have to do that with Aloe Fix because it's more goopier. So just envisioning myself raking that texture in, that texture of a gel in my hair, I definitely would have to. Or maybe not because it is thicker and it gives more stretch. 
it's not like an eco styler type of stretch that it's more cementy. It has more movement and and in the gel, so it doesn't kind of plaster in and has more movement than that. But I just wanted to share that with you because I was really excited about the results in sectioning my hair. It didn't take me a super long time, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And also it all depends on how little your sections are and how long it takes to detangle. As long as your hair is detangled from the get-go, when you detangle it with your regular conditioner in the shower, big white tooth comb or whatever favorite tool it is you use and then you put some of the smoothing lotion on like two heaping handfuls maybe like that much two of those and I and it would give you really great detangling and slip so when you apply the gel it's not like you're fighting with your hair it just smooths through and it gives you great results so thank you so much for tuning in for more pictures and close-ups of my hair come on to my blog www.coilsquarry.com and you'll find pictures there and also all of my video tutorials and reviews okay thank you so much again and I'll see you soon